Hello, in this video we're going to create a cell shading effect in Unreal Engine 5. So games like Zelda Breath of the Wild use this, and this can help make your game look nice. Before we get started, shout out to Kadeko, they made a tutorial on Unreal Engine 4 on how to create a cell shader effect. I'm going to be updating it to Unreal Engine 5 in this video. I'll leave a link to their um, website tutorial somewhere in the description of this video. Okay, so to get started, what we're actually going to do is create this post-process effect volume and then we're going to apply it to areas in our game which we want to have the cell shading effect. So, to create this, we just want to find some free space in your project, right click and go create material. And I'm just going to call this the PP underscore cell shader. So that stands for the post-process cell shader. We can double click and open it up. And the first thing we want to do is just select it then go over to the details here and to material and change this to be a post process. So now we're ready to create our post process cell shader effect. So the first thing we're going to do is create a lighting buffer. This will basically store information about how we want to light our scene. To do this, we can just right click and look for the scene texture and we want this one, the scene texture, select it and just change this to be post process and we want this one, post process input zero. We want to copy this and paste it again and then this time we just want to change this to be diffuse color then off of the color we're not actually going to be using the color of any of these we just want to drag off here and look for desaturation then drag off here and look for desaturation and then we just want to divide this and we'll divide them by each other and then look for clamp And this will basically calculate how we want to light our level. So this is just going to make everything look gray. So for our cell shader, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so any um, pixel on our screen, which has a value greater than 0.5, is going to use the normal colors. And any pixel on our screen, which has a value of less than 0.5, is going to use a color with half the brightness. So to achieve that effect, let's just move all these nodes backwards, then right click and look for the if node. We want to connect from here into here. And for B, we want this to have a constant of 0.5 because that's the value we're going to be comparing it with. So if I just look for um, one on my keyboard and left click, this will create a constant and make this 0.5 because that's the value we're going to be comparing this against. So if a pixel has a value of greater than 0.5, what we're going to do is just copy this. and connect it into here. And if it doesn't, we can drag off here and look for multiply and make sure that this value is 0.5 and then connect this into B here. Then just connect this into emissive color here and go apply, close this. So next we wanna basically apply this um, post-process material onto our level. To do that, we can go over here where it says quickly add things to the project and we just want to go to volumes and look for a post process volume. Then make sure selected, go over to details and then we're going to look for material. So it's under rendering features. We just want to click this arrow and just go add element. Then we want to select choose and select asset reference then we can just drag our material onto here. And right now, this is only gonna affect things which are inside of this square. To make it affect our whole level, we just wanna look for infinite and make sure we just check this and this will affect everywhere in our level. Now, you may notice, things don't really look like they're cell shaded. And that is because Unreal Engine is applying other effects before our post-process material. In order to make sure that this basically is applied before those effects, we can just open up this material and then we want to scroll down and we want to go to post process material and change this to scene color after DOF. So this will basically apply this after it's applied the depth of field channel. So let's just um, select it, then go apply. And you should see it is applying the post process effect nicely. Nice. Right now, our post-process effect is affecting everything on our level. 
You may want to isolate it so it only affects certain things on our level. So let's go over how to do that. So we can do that by using a custom depth. This will tell Unreal Engine this is the only object we want to be affected by our post-process volume. So if I just select my um, character here, I'm going to look for render custom depth and just check this. Then we just need to make a few changes to our material so it will only affect things which have the render custom depth pass. So I'm going to open it up and then we want to add the following nodes. So in some free space, we just want to right click and look for scene, texture. For this first one, we want to change this to be scene depth. Then just copy this again. For the second one, we're going to change this to be custom depth. Then we just want to copy this one more time. And for this third one, we want it to be the post process input zero. Then we just want to drag off here and look for mask. And we want this one, component mask. Click this um, arrow and we want to uncheck G. So we'll only be masking the red color channel. Copy this again, connect it into here. Then we want to add an if. So if I just right click and look for if. Connect from A into here from here into B and from color into here. This will basically allow it so only objects with the custom depth will basically have the cell shader effect applied to them. And then we just want to connect from this if into the A is greater than B node and then connect this into a massive color. Then go apply. And if I just close this. So now Unreal Engine will only apply the post process material to things which have the render custom depth field enabled. I did find that no matter what I did, it would always make the sky black, although I did find a fix for this. So in Unreal Engine 5, they made it so the sky is this mesh. If we just delete it, then go up to settings and make sure show engine content is um, enabled. Go over to our engine and then just look for the BP underscore sky this should be in your project this is what unreal engine 4 used to use so i'm not sure why they changed it i just drag this in and this will give us a sky and then just select it and for the directional light actor just change it to be this this is what unreal engine 4 used to use so i'm not sure why they changed it okay so now we have our sky working as normal if we want objects to have the cell shaded effect we can just select it and then look for render custom depth and if I just check it this will have the cell shaded effect on it nice so that is how to add a cell shaded effect in Unreal Engine if you want the project files for this they'll be available if you're subscribed to my website and if you're subscribed you get access to a bunch of courses like how to make a 2d platformer an fps game and more that's all for this video if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye